Does the GLP have a philosophy around which the party coalesces? The GLP does have a philosophy. What is that philosophy? The GLP's philosophy cannot be just condensed into one word, but the GLP's philosophy is broken down into some core principles. The GLP is a fiscal conservative party, but on social issues, we believe in a kind of activism. So let's start with that. We believe that we must increase access to the things that remove poverty from our land. The JLP believes in ending poverty in Jamaica. Health, education, national security are key areas that remove poverty, particularly education as a vehicle of social mobility, health as a vehicle of productivity, and national security as the environment in which everybody can live under the rule of law. That's core principle number one. Uh, core principle number two would be a society where everybody has the opportunity to fulfill themselves. We want people to be happy, and happiness comes through fulfillment and the pursuit of your dreams and goals. So that means that for us, that environment is competitive, so we believe in competition for business. We believe in a free market as the ultimate example of competition. But we also recognize that free markets do need regulation sometimes because some markets fail in the provision of public goods. Education could be one of them, health could be one of them. So it gives a role for government. So for the JLP, government's role is to stand in where markets generally fail or are likely to fail. So we believe in a more effective and extensive private sector, and we stand in the breach if markets fail to protect the interests of people. That's a jail. We are not a socialist party, but we, we are a social activist party because for us, given our history, we have a greater need to correct the unequal endowments that we inherited as a people coming out of slavery and colonialism. So we have to invest heavily in education, health, and national security. Um, we believe as well in there is no success without sacrifice. There is no wealth without work. So the, 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 the party believes firmly in that. As it relates to, to taxes, when we hold to the view that there should be no representation, no taxation without representation. So government must be effective. If people are going to be called upon to pay taxes, then the government must be effective and efficient in the way that it uses the public's resources. So we, we maintain that. We admit, and stemming from that effectiveness, we also believe in efficiency. More taxes does not mean better government, all right? More taxes does not mean that the country will grow. So our principle is that we will be the party to seek to reduce your taxes, to give you back more of your money so you can determine what to do with it. We believe in prosperity. We are not ashamed of it. We are not abashed by it. Profit is a good word for the Jamaica Labour Party. We believe people must make as much money as they can. Yes, the Jamaica Labour Party is a capitalist party, and we believe in the use of capital for the benefit of the entire population. So I want that to be reaffirmed. We believe that growth can only be accomplished by a strong social partnership between the private sector and labor. Indeed, the history of the Jamaica Labor Party is that we have been built on that. That is the Labor Party. We have been a union that has managed to bring on board capital. And once you can form a platform where labor and capital can work towards prosperity, then you are 90% there for success. And that is the Jamaica Labor Party. Um, we believe that every Jamaican should be able to afford the important things in life that help them to feel good, right? Um, in a place where everybody calls home, every Jamaican should be able to afford a house, shelter. That's a fundamental belief of the Jamaica Labour Party. No, 
Um, and you will notice that under the Jamaica Labour Party, we have, you know, our last government, we built several schemes. We, we partnered and we worked and put resources in. It would be a good exercise for some of your journalists, Bernard, to go and investigate how many schemes have been built under this government. We believe in the development of the infrastructure of the country. Mm -hmm. I think in this regard, you know, we don't claim any exceptionalism. Uh, we have contributed as much to the building of infrastructure, if not more, right? And we have some very visionary projects which I led my mind, including Burnham Field. But we are also institution builders. So if you look at the work of the JLP versus the work of the PNP, the JLP has built, I would say, more than 70% of the institutions that make Jamaica what it is, including the institution of our independence that has created Grand Jamaica. It is the Jamaica Labour Party who took that bold decision to be independent. Um, and we continue to hold that position which informs our position that our court must be a local final appellate court. That is the philosophy of the Jamaica Labour Party. Um, we don't believe that institutions last forever, and so institutions must be revised from time to time. And after 50 years of institutions, I think it is time that we review some of the institutions that we have. Some of them have reached their sunset this is something that I have said over and over again. I put it in my budget presentation. It may have escaped you. But it's there written that you can go and look at it. That, that we believe now it's time for institutional review. Um, some of the institutions that claim on our public resources and our budget aren't really contributing to the national project. They are just there, but they need to be retasked and given a new mission. Um, the Jamaica Labour Party sees ourselves, sees Jamaica as a leader in the world, and not as how the PMP sees it. Uh, we believe that our strategic interests lie in the Northern Caribbean. If you look at a map of Jamaica, we are center of the Caribbean, the Northern Caribbean especially. And that is where our foreign policy is going to be. We don't believe that we should maintain foreign policy as it is inert. We believe that we must use our foreign policy to spur economic growth, to branch out and form new alliances. Where we are at 2 million or 2.8 million in terms of population and the size of our country, um, we need to have greater markets in order for us to grow. We need to invest in our human capital for us to grow. And not necessarily to simply export our human capital, but to create the opportunities here, to use the human capital to create the opportunities. Jamaica being the center can be the hub. We see it differently from being a logistics hub, but we see it as the center of innovation, the center of creativity, the center of where Spanish speaking and English speaking can meet. The center of trade, the center of commerce, the center of lifestyle and culture. That is the hub of which we speak. We're, we're a practical party. When I addressed it um, at, my, at the youth forum, I said, we are the party of what works. It, it, it may give the impression that we don't sit down and look at the, you know, the, the, the philosophical underpinnings of what works, but we do. Uh, at the end of the day, we don't sell a philosophy, we sell a policy that is to be implemented. So if you ask about the philosophy of the Jamaica Labour Party, that's a, a brief synopsis of it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lita.